What is up everyone? It is day 10 and 11. I'm gonna do both of them right here because yesterday I, I kind of fell off the ball on yesterday. That's okay though. So what happened yesterday? Hmm. I'll be honest with you guys. After a while, if I don't, and I'm already, I really enjoy making this, but once you start, um, Boy, you better slow down. Once you, well, when you're when you're on this like scheduled work week, if you don't make a point to Jesus, mate, if you don't, I almost got hit hit right there. That'd have been really bad. Um, if you don't make a point to point out, well, I guess legitimately point out your day and like what's going on, everything starts to blur together. You know. Um, hmm. So yesterday. So, okay, yeah, I know, I know, I know what it is. So, what happened was, I did my normal work day, you know, uh, ate, ate my bowl of, I had a bowl of this, this stuff right here, which was, uh, Frosted Flakes. I had Frosted Flakes. This is good, I'm on, I'm, I'm really, I'm still pretty freaking tired for some reason right now. Oh, God, son, get out of here. Had a bowl of Frosted Flakes, um, did my thing, was... 10 minutes late yesterday something like that today i'm on time i got i'm on time today but literally tuesday wednesday wednesday and thursday i was late uh all this freaking punk behind me who almost hit me but for three days i was late and uh monday i wasn't and, and today i wasn't and i was on time so which is good but finally i got into the groove of it and i can keep getting here on the groove but i'm so used to my, my mom usually drives I just about literally every single day she usually drives in the morning and she talks to her sister or my grandma and I'm either on my phone or um, sleeping because it's like a 50 minute drive. I'm not exaggerating. I'm honestly not exaggerating. It takes that long to get from point A to point B to work. Home to home to work is about a 45, 50 minute drive usually. 45 minutes to an hour realistically. So it's, it's, it took th all three days it took me an hour to get there. But past the point... What was I talking about again? Oh yeah, what exactly happened? I get a little, I get a little off track, you know. That's okay though. Um, so yeah, yesterday I did my normal work thing. Uh, me and Kathy talked, ha ha ha, yeah yeah, doing our thing. And then afterwards we went to McKay's. I go for a truck boy, truck boy. We went to McKay's. Uh, it's McKay's uh, used books, and she got what she get. Family Guy Monopoly. By the way, we played Monopoly. Still not a big fan. Oh, I shaved my face yesterday too. See? But yeah. Play Monopoly. God. I already I already went over that story. Freaking oh I gotta hate Monopoly. Okay, hate's a strong word. I severely dislike Monopoly. But all I'm saying is these are better games to play, you know what I mean? She almost got uh, Minions Operation. That would have been pretty fun. I would have been down to play that. Still, you know, I haven't played I haven't played a whole lot of on my computer lately. I haven't went to the gym in probably a month. I'm really start, I'm really I'm really feeling it starting to hit me not going to the gym. I'll tell you what, staying active and actually doing something for an hour plus a day, it makes all the world a difference in your overall attitude throughout the day. Like, plus, plus, with that being said, and your day starting to blur together, it's, it's, it sucks. It, it's, it's pretty bad. I mean, mind you, I still usually do something almost every single day, but it's, it's still just doing, like, It'd be uh, a lot of times it's either Kathy comes over and, we, and she does work and I either get on my computer for an hour or so or Kathy comes over or, or I go to her house and I do work there. You know, it's a lot of little things that become uh, like a usual, like, like, oh, it's nothing new, you know, it's just more work we're doing. But I mean, yeah, yeah, there is stuff we hang out, but it's it's different. It's, it's a completely different concept of like what's what it is. And a lot of people get, get stuck in this cycle of yep from five to thank you let me over from like what is it 
like an eight to five job or an eight to four four job or whatever. The American, the standard. I freaking hate that. It actually sucks. Like five days a week. This this time to this time. That's that's so part of the, that's the sole reason why I'm trying to learn my uh, this networking uh, this networking and stuff and trying to get into that because I really want to just change it up. You know, have options. Uh, do I love do, do I love working for my family? Of course, you know. And I'll continue to say I, I love it, but you know, my office is kind of like a dungeon because <laughs> there's no windows and oh god dang it, it's freaking traffic because there's no windows and it's just and I do the same thing every single day, pull dump tickets, uh, talk to new hires, and then bro, don't freaking fly on me, please. Jesus, lad. These people are just on the edge of just plow, plow, plow. Like a four-stack plow up. I need to calm down. But anyway, just doing the same old thing. It's not It's not even a challenge either. Like, it's... A lot of jobs are knowing people and learning just the small skill or whatever it takes, you know? And that's for... I mean, that's, that's not to say that everybody can do each job that's that's a skill based you know some people legitimately don't have the the physical or the mental capability of doing it not calling people weak or stupid that's just how it is you know you have to accept that um can you work towards it of course of course but it just takes a lot longer for some people or it's just it's just very demanding for some jobs let's take uh let's take mechanics for instance um you know, they have a lot of heavy parts and things like that. Of course, there's little guys that do it, but, you know, if there's a big, like, trucks, mechanics and stuff like diesel, big diesel trucks and crap like that, it's a lot more, I should say it helps a lot having a big guy do it because, you know, he's going to be able to lift those parts a lot easier and get things moved around a lot easier. But on the, on the flip side of that, you also have uh, the smaller guys who are able to kind of get in places and, and reach stuff or and reach, like, and, like tweak stuff with their little little hands and stuff like me. I got little hands, freaking hand model, Ooh, baby. But no, there's that. There's that. Um, but I mean, anyway, that was that was yesterday. McKay's got the got that stuff today. Ah, today got here on time. Like I said, today is October twentieth. I say it was nineteenth. January, March, April, May, June, July, and August. September, October, November, oh, 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 December, yep, October, you gotta, you gotta sing the song, if you don't sing the song, then you don't know your, uh, months, it's just how it is, I mean, you could probably know a different song, but it's just the song I know, you know, Psh, whatever, but, um, so, what happened today, woke up, once again, Frosted Flakes, ate a bowl of those, dry, didn't have time, I didn't wake up early enough. Womp womp. I've been setting my alarm for like 6, I, setting it for 6.12 or 6.13, something like that, some weird time, just so I can be difficult and different, and then my second alarm goes off if for some reason I, I smack the one, and well, I don't really smack it, I just, you know, swipe it off my phone. If I cut the one off, then the second one goes off at 6.24. Instead of like 5.5.5.5 five, 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 or 5.10, 5, 5.10, 5, 10, you know what I mean? Like in 5 or 10 increments. Well, I guess they'd all be increments of 5. But uh, anyway, not always increments of 10. Uh, but anyway, I just thought it'd be different, you know what I mean? Change it up. I'm trying to get stuck in that same cycle. I'm doing the same thing over and over again and trying to do different. Even though it's just a, I know it's just an alarm clock, but still changing it up and not being repetitive is kind of nice. Uh, so I did that. Uh, got a shower, took the dogs out, you know, left for that, left the house, got to work. Okay. Uh, so what do I have, what do I have to do then? Right? I'm trying to like run through here. Um, let's see here. Did one interview today call the dude back and let him know, you know, sorry, man, we're just not, you know, we're not, we're not really interested at the time being, so, uh, I guess the, the way that, that most people, like, butter it up and stuff like that is, um, hey, my name is Devin, um, with J&J, &J. uh, just thought I'd give you a call and let you know that 
for the time being, we're not going to pursue your application for the time. We're, we're not going to pursue your application for the time being, and uh, we appreciate you coming in. And we do. We really do appreciate people coming in and stuff. And, and uh, I think that's for any job. Every once in a while, you'll have some people who are just time wasters who have no knowledge of what's going on or why they're even there. But it's it's pretty rare, to be honest with you. It's very rare. Um, but I did that, and, and then like I said, I talked to that. I talked to one guy that came in. He was an interesting character. Super nice guy. He seemed like he probably knew what he was doing. But or he definitely, I'd say he definitely knew what he was doing. But it was weird because a lot of jobs and stuff they kind of they do like social uh, depending on the job some guy social medical card and license you know we get get copies of it and stuff like that with their permission and um, to have them on file so we know who came in whether or not we can run either be background checks or you know MVRs things like that on them MVRs motor motor <laughs> motor vehicle report I think pretty sure that's what it is but run that on them and uh you know have a little have a little have a little bit of background on them if needed if, if we are going to pursue that person but he was he just wasn't really about it you know he's something may have happened in, in his life to where he just doesn't have that trust to even just give his his social medical card and his license now mind you that, those are big things those are very big things but that's just what the requirement is for a lot of jobs and stuff like that um Obviously, with the with us with the comp with the company, it's just you know uh, trucks and stuff like that. So we have to have your license so we can see whether or not you have a class A, B, or have endorsements, things like that. Which could be with the city. There's a, there's a lot of variations to all this stuff, but it all has a point. I'm just going to stay in this lane. Uh, I did that, and then I literally uh, did this the dump called Republic. I did that dump ticket, and then I just pulled waste management tickets for like two and a half hours it's freaking mind numbing a freaking monkey can do it i gotta get a we i need a monkey now that, now that i say that to pull dump tickets put a staple in front or like you, you pull off the staple you won't flip one side here one side here and then you repeat staple one flip flip staple flip flip and you just do that over and over and over and over again Oh, did that for a while. Oh, I watched some really, I watched some pretty interesting YouTube videos today, though, while I did all that stuff. Uh, watched one on the Book of the Dead. Uh, it was a documentary on the Book of the Dead, and it was about a British, uh, this, this British guy who's similar to, like, Indiana Jones, yeah, on how he deals with people, and, like, talking to them, and, and you know, making friends with the locals, things like that. And to get knowledge, and he was a trader. He traded traded for knowledge and stuff of these uh, ancient Egyptian artifacts and things like that. I can't remember his name for the life of me. But I watched a documentary on that, and it was talking about how basically the Book of the Dead got turned into a big business, basically, uh, for the for the ancient Egyptians. Which, mind you, the ancient Egyptians, people say they're like 5,000 years old, but then uh, at the time of when all this bad stuff and when, when apparently this possible meteor or something hit the Earth and around like 12, 13,000 years ago, I feel like it's that's more likely than saying four or 5,000 years ago. That's how old some of the stuff is. But then, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's a, there's a lot going into that. But anyway, he traded up for stuff, and he basically, all of his findings and stuff, he took to the British Museum. Um, and he got so much stuff, basically. But he got the scroll uh, from that, that was fully colored, had color and everything still. It was, it was a colored scroll uh, of this Book of the Dead. And what the Book of the Dead is, is it helps guide people to the afterlife. You know, they get their sarcophagus. And then they put this the scroll in, I think it was a jar that they had it with, and it helps guide them through to for immortality. And depending on how much money you had, um, your status depends on... Um, and it, the whole thing was like a big money grab in the first place, which saying that, you know, if it wasn't a thing, then it wouldn't be a thing. That's one of my rules. So it, it's obviously got spawned up from something, you know, from all this happening, so... It definitely was or is a thing. 
Um, uh, but that that's just, I know that's a different, that's just a whole different rant for another time. But anyway, oh dang, that car almost hit that big giant truck for just freaking moving over. It's these stupid, in a big ass truck. If you're coming over, come over, dude. Gas it. There you go, buddy. Can, I, can we clap for him? Yeah. We'll, we'll clap on the inside so we know. Um, but anyway, did that in this, the Book of the Dead had different spells and things like that, that in them to, to fend off um, from these basically evil, like, deity spirit things. Like, it's, it's, it's actually, no, what are you doing, dude? my horn fast enough so I didn't even mash my horn I've got like an anti-horn mash on my in my mind for some reason I just see no point in, in it most of the time that would have been a good time to mash the horn though so that was that documentary it was so cool too it was really it's it very informative and stuff uh, but the scribe he this, this this guy he's a scribe and before he kind of got peace within himself he had to he wanted to purchase one of these scrolls for himself and it, it cost to get a book the, a book of the dead um one of these big long scrolls personally made for you and your family it costs a uh, half a year's salary and that's that's for middle class half a year's salary uh and that's to get a, a good scroll and a sarcophagus and things like that and he was a scribe which is way up there on the chain he was the scribe to one of the the pharaohs so uh, and he used the spell to kind of get through um, all the, the the 41, I think, or 42 doors, which are trials. I can't remember. I think it was 41 trials. The 41 came up again somewhere else in my in like my life not too long ago. It was like literally days to a week ago. Week, weeks, days or weeks ago. It wasn't that long. I probably should speed it up. But now I'm heading home. I'm going to walk Max and then... We'll see if Kathy has anything spawned up for me to, that, that she wants to do. If she wants to come over, obviously I'm down. But I don't think I'm going to head over there tonight. Um, I'm not allowed to stay it. I'm not allowed to stay over there right now. Uh, I did. I actually have three total nights, I think. Two were secret. I know, I know her parents knew I was there. And then one day, I just legitimately just stayed overnight. And um, her dad got pretty upset with me about that. I don't know exactly what to say because instead of just like saying it to me, he says it in Vietnamese, even though I know it's his main language, but he knows how to speak English when he's like right next to me a lot of times. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not 100% with that yet. I really wish, I really wish me and him could just like talk and stuff, but it's tough. It's tough. And I'm a week, week behind and getting back on my Vietnamese lessons. I haven't done it for literally a week, week and a half now. So I've got to really hop back on that. Otherwise, I'm gonna, it's going to be like starting over, you know. I say that, but it's like, it's just no different than riding a bike. I should be able to hop right back in it. Um, I'm going to go all over all the lessons that I've done and then just play catch up after that. So that's the goal. That's the goal. But like I said, Walk Max. Um, maybe maybe games game tonight. Definitely maybe no. Oh she definitely game tonight. I'm really feeling it. And uh, and see what uh see what's up with the uh, with the old Kathy. Yeah. K T Y. That's her rap name. <laughs> you know, it's pretty legit. But that's it for today, guys. Like the day was today's day day. What is it? Ten and eleven. I think. I'm pretty sure it's 10 and 11. I mashed them up together today. But that's it. Peace.